since I've been traveling for three years now, I've done a lot of things that I've had on my bucket list. It's all been in the States, in the United States. But I had a lot of things on my bucket list here in the United States. And because I'm a nature person, a lot of those things have been seeing a lot of naturistic places. And in the past three years, I cleared my bucket list. But there was one thing on my bucket list, though, that I did not clear off. And that was seeing Mount Shasta. So I finally came up to the mountain to see Mount Shasta. Wow. So I started these travels around these states to go be with nature and to explore nature and see all these beautiful, amazing places. And nature has been very therapeutic for me. Pretty much my whole life. I'm always at peace when I'm in nature. It's so soothing when I'm in nature. And so therefore, over the last couple of months, being in one spot, helping a friend of mine go through cancer, it's been a little stressful. So I needed to go take a break and go get myself back in the element of being in nature. And I wanted to make sure that it was going to be somewhere special. Because I really needed the, the therapy. And Mount Shasta wasn't too far away from where I've been staying at. Helping my friend with his cancer. And they say Mount Shasta has a lot of healing energy. And I definitely needed that healing energy. And I definitely just needed a special place in nature. It was time to reset. And although I'm here for a couple of days, I think I picked that perfect spot for me to try to reset mentally. Well, I left really early in the morning to come up here to this mountain because I was really hoping that I could beat the crowd coming up, but I think everybody else had the same idea. <laughs> There's been a good bit of cars coming up. I still have a few more miles to get to the overlook area. What a stunning, stunning drive. This whole area right here, with the mountains, the trees, just the landscape of this area. This, I love all nature, and I love all different kinds of scenery of nature, but this, this is my favorite. 
by far. This is definitely my favorite. I get that sense of peace over me so, like it's almost overwhelming when I get into places like this. Like the, the peace that just comes through my body and mind. <laughs> That I almost want to cry because of how beautiful everything is. It gets a little overwhelming sometimes seeing, seeing this stuff. It's just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. California, definitely, like Northern California, definitely has some beautiful, beautiful areas. This isn't my first time up here in Northern California. This is my first time in this area, up here by Mount Shasta. But, uh, like, I've been up to the Smith River and a few other places, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. <laughs> I mean, it just all looks so majestic. All I can say is, wow. Wow. Look, look. Look at all this. But let's not forget the most important thing that we came here for. Look at that beautiful freaking mountain up there. I believe Mount Shasta stands at like over 14,000 feet. And I think, I think it's the fourth highest peak. In California, it's one of the highest peaks in California. And for the ones that don't know, Mount Shasta is also a volcano. Wow. I mean, just the drive up alone. The drive up alone is freaking amazing. I got like four more miles to go before I get to the overlook for that majestic mountain over there. I wonder if I'll see a bear finally. Absolutely stunning. Like the, the mountains over there in the background right there, that looks like a painting. Like a silhouette painting of the mountains. This is such a beautiful country, guys. I mean, I wore the perfect shirt today. Because it is beautiful. We live in a beautiful country.
Okay, I made it. Look. I mean, the whole entire area is just breathtaking. So, here's a funny thing. Because I am up here on a little break of helping my friend, I kind of packed up my Jeep pretty fast and pretty quick. And, you know, between trying to pack and then deal with things with my friend, I wasn't really thinking straight. And I thought I had my hiking shoes. You guys see where I'm going with this? Thought I had my hiking shoes and my hiking bag in the Jeep, and I didn't. So I get up here, and I go to look for my hiking shoes, and go figure. No hiking shoes. So all I have is my flip-flops. So I just hiked in a little bit with my flip-flops, but can't really hike up the mountain and flip-flops though I have hiked a lot of times barefooted because you know when you hike barefooted well for me I feel like I'm one with nature and I'm really feeling nature and getting the vibration of the trail underneath my feet But I don't feel like hiking barefooted right now in bear country. Because go figure, as many times as I keep saying, oh, I really want to see a bear, it'll be the one time I see a bear when I'm hiking barefooted up a mountain. So don't worry, guys. I'm not going hiking in flip-flops and bare feet. But I hiked in a little bit. I only did like maybe a quarter mile in. So if that. But I had to. I had to. I had to get a little close. Look at that. I mean look at. Look at the trees. Some of these trees look like Christmas trees. Well, I guess this bucket list item is not completely scratched off yet. Because now, I want to come up here and camp on the mountain. And I see lots of people were just pulled off, set up camp. So it looks like you can pretty much camp in a lot of places up here. So I'd like to set up camp and come up here Camping limit is 14 days, so 14 days with my hiking shoes and my backpack. And at least go hike a little bit up the mountain. And go hike a lot of these trails. So the bucket list item hasn't been scratched off completely. But I made it. And I've been here for a minute, but I kept the cameras down so I could just enjoy and take this all in because it's a lot to take in. And I didn't expect to see all the the yellow and the purple flowers. Like it almost looks like springtime up here and it's not. Like look, look at all that.
what a different feeling up here. Like, <sighs> wow. There are some areas up here where it's really hazy looking. And the reason why it's really hazy looking is because that's smoke. So this is wildfire season. But right now, there is a fire that's only one hour away from here. Actually, I think it's like 45 minutes away from here. And it's been burning for almost, almost a whole month. And it's one of the largest wildfires that California has ever had. And it's called the Park Fire. And the way that it was started was some idiot went out there to the middle of the forest and uh, lit his car on fire and then shoved his car into a gully. And they, they did catch the guy. But because of that idiot doing that, um, it is now one of the largest wildfires that California has ever had. And it's been going on for almost a month now. I did drive kind of close to where the fire was when I was driving out this way. And it was really covered in smoke and everything. But uh, it's only, I think... Last night, yeah, last night I checked to see what the containment was of the fire. And it's only 39% contained right now. And the fire's been going on for over, not over, but almost a month. And so far it has burned 439,000 acres. Absolutely insane. So hopefully, I've been watching where I'm staying at every morning I look. I already know the zone that I'm in. So every morning when I wake up, I get online and I look up the zone. I put in the zone number to see if there's any evacuations going on for the zone that I'm in. And so far, I've been in the clear, but surrounding areas are being evacuated. So hopefully I can get some good pictures with some clear skies, but it's been in and out with the, the haziness and the smoke, so 